How much did the coaches drill down on a guy on his performance the other night? Yeah, I, I, I looked the first two, three shifts, and I'm like, hey, this guy's not wide-eyed. You know, this guy, I think he, he's going to seize the moment. And made a couple of nice plays. Um, but now the next game, it's, it's, it's always the second, third, and fourth game for guys like this. And not, not him, just for guys that get called up, is the consistency, because it's hard to do. Um, and I don't want to give him too much. Like, we gave him a couple little things, but we don't want to give him too much system stuff. I, I can't stand when coaches give players so much stuff and the poor guy gets out there and, you know, he doesn't know whether, you know, to wind his watch, you know? So I think it's important that we, we just give him a little bit at a time. And um, like I said, I thought he did a real nice job for us. Said it looked like he was getting a bit of a promotion skating with uh, JT and Brock. Yeah, I think uh, he can help JT with his speed. Um, he, he's not afraid to hit. He's a good four checker, and I think the, putting a guy like that with JT, who who you know, early in the year with Giuseppe and last year, you know, you get a f good four checker with Millsy, they come up with a lot of pucks, so maybe he can have that DNA for us on that line. The consistency and stuff that we've done all year, a little bump in the road. That's why it's important. That, you know, we built a foundation here and an identity. Don't lose it um, over you know two or three losses. Obviously, in the third period, we've lost every game in the third period, so that's something to think about. Um, you know, listen, we've been fortunate all year. Getting some good breaks now. We're not, you know, we're getting a lot of penalties. We're getting some unfortunate bounces, and good teams face the adversity, and you go from there. So we got to we got to make sure we rely on our foundation. We don't we don't go all rogue and be an individual. So I think that's the key for this group. We must have seen that in Colorado. It seemed like you guys, the system was, was there. Just yeah, no, we played a good game. I mean, we had a couple of chances. I mean, the, the goalie was out. We just couldn't put it by him. Um, you know, an unfortunate goal there off the Coles glove. But uh, for the most part, it was a good game. But, you know, like I said, we got to find a way to win games. You've talked so much about the character of this group throughout the season. Do you feel that this group is is pushing frustration aside and is, is locked in and ready to keep going? Well, it's, it's a test, right? Uh, we've done a pretty good job so far. But uh, the stakes are higher. The games are going to be tougher, um, and now you're going to be your resolve is going to be t tested even more. So, you know, don't quit on plays. Don't get frustrated. You know, th these are the little things that um, we have to build a DNA and a and the scar tissue. You know, this is the sort of stuff that these are. You know, I know we keep saying learning lessons, but you've got to learn from the lessons and make sure that if there's crucial moments that we we stay. You know, we deal with that adversity. You mentioned PDG. He wasn't on the ice this morning. I personally had to deal with something personal at home. Okay. Rick, you have such great relationships with these guys, both on and off the ice. I wonder what it's meant to you the last few days to meet some of the mentors and interact with them. Well, it's great. You know, uh, having breakfast with them. They were in their room. They uh, they saw our, our team meeting, what we go through. Uh, we try to limit the, given the, the, the their son's crap though. We didn't. It was, we try to get more positive things. No, it, it, it's it's just even the father the fathers that couldn't make it and the fathers that are up in heaven. I think it's a. Uh, you know, it's proud. It's a proud moment for you know th these fathers trips. I you know wish my dad was here for this. It's uh, you could tell the players. You know, it's excited when their dads around, right? Uh, their mentors. Rick, early in the season, your fourth line had a bit of an offensive profile. Yeah. Hoaglander was yeah. there. Kuzi when he was right. around. This group has assembled right now. That's not sort of their identity. What are you seeing? What are you getting? And are you getting enough sort of those heavy stacked shifts from your fourth line? Right? Yeah, it's a good question. I, I don't. Yeah, we've we've lost a little bit of that identity. We're we're still trying to find it. Uh, that fourth line where they can go change momentum, whether it's possession time, whether it's with aggressive play, or whether it's being good defensively in your own end. And um, to to go far, you have to have an identity fourth line. And uh, you know, it's we've lost a little bit. And I know promoting Hoggy up has uh, hurt it a little bit because Hagi was really good as, you know, as that, that role. Um, so we got to put, you know, a Lafferty or Amon's got to get better at that role. Um, you know, McKay right now is on that line. Can they hold on to pucks? Can they, can they play well defensively, but also contribute? So yeah, that's a, that's an evolving thing with this team. Keep on saying. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Seems like a, oh, I think you don't have to face all these. <laughs> Generational talent. Thanks for liking the video and subscribing.